All right, guys. Out here doing chores, reminiscing. It's old, good old Sarah. Uh, let's see. About 13 years ago, I was reading a countryside magazine. I didn't have the old s smartphone back then. We just had newsletters and magazines and stuff like that. But anyhow, so I was out here, you know, as I was reading in Countryside Magazine, I came across, it said, American Milking Devons. So that struck my interest. And Butch Daddy, his old horns, Papa back there. Eating the grass. Come on, you gonna raise your head there, Isaac? Come on, buddy. You gonna raise your head? Come on, buddy. You gonna say hi? Hi there, buddy. You're a good boy, aren't you? Yeah. Flies are kind of being pesky tonight. It's dry. Back to the cattle. So came across this article that talked about American Milking Devons seem to be a very docile breed, multi-purpose. You can either use them for milk, beef, or oxen. And in my mind, it's like, I'm, I guess I'm geared that way, I guess. If I can get something, I want, I, want, I want to be able to use something more than just for one purpose. That's kind of the way my mind's geared, I guess. Or that's the way I tend to think. And, well, how do I, how do I get a hold of American Milking Devons? And it says they were kind of on the extinct list. So, at the time I was working in construction and the driver had his smartphone and I go, Hey, Brian, uh, hey, Ryan, could you look up American Milking Devons if there's any for sale? So he, uh, looks on, online and he happens to find find a little baby calf out in Columbus, Ohio. And I get out there. So I, a good friend of mine said he'd take me out there just with the pickup with a cab. And so we go out there. I actually got pictures. I'll show some pictures. And we'll go out there and get her. She was only eight months old. So we head to Columbus. And I tell you what, Columbus is kind of hilly in some areas for some of those Ohioan people would know what I'm talking about and we get back in the sticks I'm talking back in the sticks I mean this little that calf that I got was wild like a deer but out of that calf produced all of this the point of this video is I was able to experience milk I was able to experience beef for meat but here recently uh of march of 2022 i sold a pair of baby bull calves about two and a half weeks old to a guy that's involved with tiller international and he does auction training and he has his own auction farm and I, I only got to meet the guy. I really don't know him personally, but by the looks of things, he knows what he's doing. Um, and he actually can go on Taylor, Taylor's International. I believe it's, yeah, on their website. I mean, he's on there, and uh, he does training, and it says it's sold out. So obviously, he's doing something right. So yes, um, I did find out that this type of breed, um, and the other thing that sold me on it was they can thrive on grass and hay. No grains. I, I believe there's people out there that do feed them grains, but I don't. Um, this pasture here is past its kind of prime, the lush stage. But uh, it's it's been so dry. We, we're, we're dry here in southern Michigan. That being said, um, I just wanted to share some videos on what we were able to experience today. We were able to go to Tillers International, and we were able to help make hay the old-fashioned way. I never did it that way. I grew up on a dairy farm, uh, Amish dairy farm, 
and we always would have square bailed uh, but we we would have never put up loose hay so it was like a hay loader that's that you pull behind a wagon in which you'll see some videos that I'll be sharing here and uh, hopefully you guys will enjoy well guys today was a good day got to work instead of just sitting in a seat pushing control we're gonna watch them make hay the old-fashioned way with oxen here they come Okay, there they are, hitched up to the wagon. Yeah, are they ready for a load yet? The hay loader. Are they ready for another load? Yeah, I got the first load. Alright, we're getting ready to pick up some hay with a team of oxen. Pretty cool, huh? That's pretty cool if you ask me. <laughs> there he goes. There they go. This is our first load. Yep, pull it. A little harder. Perfect. <laughs> uh oh. Is it tangled up? I know. Okay, these two young bulls here was purchased from me, I want to say back in April in 2022. And now I'd like to show a picture of how they looked back then. This is a picture about how they looked when he purchased them from me about two and a half weeks old. And this is how this all got connections for us to get up to tillers today and to watch how the oxen work back to these two young bulls is rob collins is his name and he purchased these from me last year and he's been working with them and now they're up here at Taylor's International. I believe he moves them back and forth to his farm. Back and forth from Taylor's to his farm. And he works with them. I asked him if he works with them pretty well every day. And he said, pretty much. He gets to work with them every day. Uh, these are not his only um, oxen that he has. This is just a young set of uh, oxen that he has to start out with. But he has also an older pair, and then he also has a single, yeah, single ox that kind of just scoop. works by himself. Or uh, that ox over was sold to this guy uh, with others as well, ago. to my understanding. So uh, <laughs> today is the 23rd of June, and a week ago, Friday. We were able to go, right go to Rob Collins' farm okay, let's follow him. and this way. watch these two young bulls work and also his older pair. Uh, he had his older pair, but he parked those and he showed us how uh, these two young bulls that he had purchased from me as baby calves back in 2022. And so this is how it all got started. This is how we got connected to go to Taylor's International. And it was fun to watch. I guess basically a person could say to go back in time and make hay how they did back then. Um, and now we're so advanced anymore. But yeah, it's just good to, good to know 
And it was, it was fun to get my hands dirty. I'm itchy. And it was dusty. You could hear me cough there a little bit. But uh, it was a good time. And yeah, this is something I actually probably wouldn't mind pursuing actually. As far as, as, far as even trying to learn how to uh, train a, a baby a baby bull calf into how to train it to become an oxen. There they go. Cool stuff. Um, on my farm here, I thought it would be nice to have a uh, a bull or an oxen in the herd. When Did I we lose it? From paddock to paddock, <laughs> I had like a twenty choice uh, mineral box that I like to move with the cattle as they move from paddock to paddock. And I would, my mind, I'm thinking, well, they're there already. Why not just get them to pull this box for me? So anyways, that was, I'd like to wrap it up. And that was kind of what we had, a fun little, fun little afternoon experience for all of, for all of us as a family. You guys have a good one. Hold